Hey YouTube, it is a Monday, March the 18th. Only a few more days away from spring, officially. Um, yeah, so that's that. <sighs> Had a nice time over the weekend. I went to see a Captain Marvel, which Wonder Woman wins hands down. I don't know what the F Marvel is thinking, but they um, wasn't good. Anyway, so that was that, but I uh, had a nice time with the hubs who were sans kids, so that was fun. Uh, yeah, so that was the weekend, um, and getting to know our little fur babies some more. <laughs> they are so funny. <laughs> They're so fun. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's get to the outfit. Uh, today I am wearing my cashmere cream top. I think I got this from Saks. Uh, my Gap jeans from The Gap. <laughs> Okay, um, and my um, Zara boots. Um, I actually wore the same exact outfit for date night yesterday. <laughs> um, aired it out and wore it this morning. Jewelry is uh, my Hermes bracelet and my Essence bracelet with my Morganite ring from Oh My Christine and my Heart Pandora bracelet and just the regular stuff. Still rocking my diamond earrings because I am loving them. Um, name necklace, citrine necklace, which once again is acting fool. Where'd you go, name necklace? Where'd you go? And um, just this Figaro plated necklace. Um, yeah, I've been just been wearing my Mac, um, my my lap, my Mac loose eyeshadows and blushes for the last two weeks. I need to get it off my makeup table so I can switch it out. Nothing really on the lips because I got to work and hit the job, hit the ground running and never really stopped until now and it's like five o'clock. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's about it. Nothing else interesting. Oh, and I switched to my, um, what is this? my MCM mini backpack and I may or may not have put in a clip of my coat that I'm wearing today which is my coach coat because I was so sick of wearing my macage huge coat and I picked the wrong day to protest because it is actually freezing outside so I'm like I should have worn my macage coat so yeah this week should be a full week um yeah so I will be talking to you tomorrow take care bye YouTube. It is Wednesday, March the 20th, first day of spring, and I am just back from getting my piercing. Finally, finally got my rook pierced. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go and do it. Went to Maria Tosh. They are usually on their pricier side, um, but it's right, it's close to my job. It's walk-in only, and I was like, let me just go and get it done, and I've been there before. So here she is. Can, can we see? I got her um a gold. You guys have to see how I'm standing. I got a gold ring. I am not wanting to make. There it is. I don't want to touch it. Um, I might have a little teeny blood on there because, like I said, it is just freshly done. Um, experience. It's a piercing. You're getting a needle jammed in your ear. But quite frankly, I think I braced too hard because it's not my only, of course it's not my first cartilage piercing, but it is my only inner ear with the thicker cartilages and I've never had that before. So I kind of hyped myself up and I braced harder than it actually hurt. Quite frankly, it, I, everyone's pain level is different. So this is what I'm saying. It's still not, I, it still feels like there's nothing in there. I'm like, did it come out <laughs> on the train? I'm like, I don't feel a thing yet. I don't know if this is, yeah, too good to be true or if this is gonna give me like problems for the next eight years, but I don't feel a thing yet 
the initial piercing, it le hurt less than the outer ears. It was just the pressure, and then I was bracing. So I think I braced harder than the actual piercing pain. So, so far, yeah. Uh, it's been, what, 20 minutes? I don't feel a thing yet, literally. I mean, I'm gonna touch it, but no. I don't feel anything, so yay. <laughs> this might be the easiest piercing yet. They did show me a, um, oh, it's hot, it just came from outside. They did show, this is just a regular gold um, hoop. It was 110, the piercing itself was 30, and the tip, it brings you to like, you know, 160. Um, <clears throat> I think the guy uh, I was pierced by was named Brian, um, and I think he's pierced me before, anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, so nice experience. Everything's clean, sterile. It wasn't a long wait at all. There was just one person in front of me. I went in. I knew I was coming for. There were people browsing, and I know I skipped a bunch of them because I was like, that one, that one, want this piercing, I'm done. <laughs> and I went upstairs. There is a diamond infinity ring that I'm going to want to put in there probably next year when this heals. Um, and then I'm going to use that hoop to pierce the upper cartilage because I, I reuse all mine. These things are... They cost money, so they stay in there too. So I put that diamond, it's like $400, but I think when you go on her website, like there's promo codes. So I'm gonna actually buy the jewelry like Christmas when there's like a sale and then put it in, have, take it to them to put it in uh, when it's healed. And I think that'll be very pretty because it's a smaller hoop, um, so it'll fit snugger, snugger, if that's the word, more snug. Yeah, so very happy I got my uh, rook pierced. Um, for my birthday, I think I'm gonna go and see if I can get the jewelry that I want finally in the, this piercing. And then this piercing will probably go, I'm gonna get it right in the middle. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this little flat one. Cause I, like I said, I like to reuse. I know a couple of you have told me to get a tragus, but I really, my tragus is a teeny wee little thing. And if I've heard they can reject, I don't wanna scar there. So we'll figure out what we're gonna do with this little piece there but yay um okay so to the outfit yesterday I did not come on camera but yesterday I wore all black the top was from Koss it's like a merino wool top with a silk peplum bottom I love 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 that shirt J Crew pants Zara boots um I just wore my Hermes I believe I'm doing this by memory. <laughs> you guys are seeing it, but I'm doing it by memory. I believe I just wore my Hermes cuff, I think I'm wearing, with my um, Essence bracelet. You guys will see the jewelry because I can't remember. Um, yeah, and today, oh, and then just see my J. Crew coat with, no, that's a Zara coat. Um, Louis Vuitton scarf and my faux Chanel tote. <laughs> Don't hate. Uh, today, I'm wearing a cashmere sweater, a J. Crew horrible, horrible material. This is cashmere. Why is it pilling, J. Crew? Um, pants are from H and M. Boots are from Zara. Jewelries, H uh, Hermes cuff. Did I say H and M cuff? No, no, no. <laughs> Hermes cuff, rose gold bracelet, essence bracelet, citrine ring. I'm playing around with my ring stacks and wearing my actual my wedding band stacked with my citrine ring. Switched over my Pandora heart uh, pinky ring to the other hand with the, my Etsy band because I got a new gold Pandora band that I'm just uh, wearing as my wedding band. Along with the other Pandora roses band. I'm liking the way the whole, just the gold looks. Stacking my necklaces. Um, you guys know the deal. Nameplate, citrine necklace. This is a plated figaro chain and still wearing my uh, diamond hoops but yeah let's see let's show the ear again if i accidentally <laughs> okay and there she is if you can see her sorry for the little bit of blood when i get home i'll take care of that so when she heals like i was saying what i'm gonna do is take that hoop and you see that little divot in my ear I'm going to get that pierced, so that hoop will be right in that divot. And I think this ear, and then put the diamond hoop in the rook. And I think this ear will be finished. If I ever lose this cuff, this gold cuff is from Catbird. If I ever lose it, I think I will go ahead and get a real 
um, conch piercing. Although I really should get a real conch piercing because it takes forever to heal and you really cannot get a conch piercing or you shouldn't get a conch piercing pierced with a ring. So maybe next year I will do that. Yeah. Yeah. Just so when this falls out, <laughs> I'll be ready to go with a, a hoop. I mean, if I ever lose that. But I did go ahead and get it pierced, my rook, with a hoop because I didn't want to pay... Uh, $300 for a gold barbell and I didn't want a silver or a surgical steel barbell in there and I figured the rook is in a place where you really don't touch it and so far so good I mean if I if this is the way it carries on then yay and um, so I don't really play with my jewelry anyway and I got these two pierced with hoops although that top one was uh, so annoying um, yeah, and I think I got this pierced, these two pierced with hoops actually too, and they, they were fine, they healed fine. So, yay to new piercings, guys! I love them. Um, so, yeah, that is my day so far. I'm gonna get back to work. Um, just MAC makeup. Um, again, I gotta get her off of my desk, my makeup table. And I'm just still, still wearing my uh, faux Chanel tote. Uh, today. I don't think I've ever shown you that. I have like two faux bags and I'm not ashamed <laughs> because I have paid my debt to the luxury society and quite frankly I'm not spending upwards of thousands of dollars on some Chanel um, canvas tote but I love it and so when I saw the fake one I was like I'm gonna buy the fake one and no one will ever know the difference. <laughs> Chanel's dead. She doesn't care. Um, yeah and then I have a Gucci, a fake Gucci red one. I wanted the real one, but then I was like, eh, let me just get the fake one. And, you know, I don't really care. It's a fake, it's a fake bag. Who cares? Um, there are other plights in the world. So, let me stop rambling. I will be talking to you tomorrow. Take care.